I'm just feeling a little bit overwhelmed. officially move in less than a week and if you missed the moving update i shared this in a vlog but we are moving into a house that we're renting that we're so looking forward to but it is actually memorial day weekend when i'm recording this and so we've been taking the chance to do all the packing things, all the moving things here in our apartment. I'm not sure if this will be the only kind of packing moving vlog that I'll have. I'll definitely have an entire vlog when we actually move in, hopefully an empty house tour. We get the keys the day that we move in and we move in at 8 a.m. That's when the movers are coming. And so hopefully it's not too chaotic to try to get that beforehand, but I am praying that we get the keys maybe a day beforehand. That would be really nice. But today is Sunday. And so I wanted to share the plans for the day for this moving day because we have a lot of plans. It is Sunday, so we do have church this morning. And so I think we're gonna try to go to the later service because I'm gonna run to the grocery store this morning and grab some groceries. Of course, with moving, I don't wanna fully stock the fridge, but we have been eating out a lot and I would like to make a couple of meals at least from home this week. Since I know next week, especially next weekend when we move, we are gonna be using a lot of takeout services. And so I wanna try to cook as much as I can, get some fruit. We also need to grab some more boxes. We ran out of boxes because today we just have a few more places that I'd like to pack this weekend. The things that I'm trying to leave are of course all the big furniture because we do have movers, but the kitchen I'll probably do next week closest to when we move just because we use that pretty frequently, obviously. But we have some closets we can pack up our closet we did so much work on yesterday it looks so great we got a ton done so that feels nice but we got to pick up some more boxes pack those other closets i want to share a couple things that i picked up for the new house too i'll do a little haul for you guys possible i would like to get a nice long walk-in it says it's going to rain for the next week which usually just means off and on but it's pretty nice today so it'd be nice to go on a long walk and also possibly work out i'm trying to take advantage of the gym while we have it we do plan on getting a gym membership closer to the new house but in the meantime while we move i don't anticipate doing that until after we're kind of settled and everything and so i'd like to try to get some sort of kind of gym strength workout in i typically don't work out on sundays but i haven't worked out in the past probably four or five days which is totally fine but i would like to do that if possible so that is the rundown i just made my grocery list the couple of meals that i want to try to make are one pulled chicken sandwiches i saw these pop up on my instagram the other day and they look so good very memorial day-esque good memorial day weekend meal so i'm going to try to make those and then i also was talking about doing a sausage kale tortellini i haven't done that in a while but if it is rainy this week i feel like that's a nice kind of cozy meal to make i did want to share this set because i picked this up the other day it's from airy i actually have three of these tops i have them in more neutral colors but i thought the pink was so much fun i'm wearing an extra small on the top it definitely runs really really large so i'd recommend sizing down even for me with knowing that i'm going to be bigger in the coming months i still got an extra small because i feel like it's plenty plenty roomy and then the shorts are so comfortable i got these in a medium which of course i wanted to get for just getting bigger and having room there but i also feel like i would have gotten these regardless they're just a lot comfier in the medium but i thought that these would be really comfortable especially for our beach trips that we have it was just like a little beach cover-up but also walking around they come in a lot of different colors and then for sneakers i'm wearing these vejas ones i've shared these before but they're my favorite just kind of casual sneaker i think that they go with so much and they're really really comfortable so i'll also link those Is my mini grocery haul starting over here i got a big thing of watermelon which i've been getting whole watermelons and just cutting them but they keep not being great and then i end up wasting them anyway so i just went ahead and bought them pre-cut but this fell off my bag so i need to transport this into a different container we got the tortellini for our soup hawaiian rolls because we just like to eat these but i also might actually do the pulled chicken sandwiches on here but i also did just get normal buns so we'll see either way we'll definitely eat these got some cheez it's tortilla chips chicken broth for soup parmesan i've been enjoying eating these cheese sticks just as a snack so picked up those ran out of honey for some reason cinnamon rolls just 
sounded good so pick that up cream for soup granny smith apples which have been my go-to lately pineapple cut up flour because i haven't fed my starter in probably a month because i ran out of flour and i keep forgetting to get some so finally got that hopefully the starter is okay tomato sauce for soup and then also some mustard for our sandwiches so I'm gonna put this all away and then start getting ready for church. Yesterday I left to run some errands and I told Aiden, I was like, just leave the clothes and the things that we might need tomorrow. But I told him to pack up the closet as much as he could. And so I think he thought I meant the clothes in our drawers. So now I have a random mix of clothes right now. I am not sure what I wanna to wear to church. I guess I could do this, yeah. He left this one out. I think I might need to iron that, but I think we'll wear this to church and I did leave out a couple pairs of shoes. Actually opted for this one. I think this is from Pedal and Pop, I believe. But yeah, this is perfect. Church was great. We also just ate some omelets because our building, they do this I think once a month. They have like an omelet brunch kind of deal and we went and got omelets. It was so, so good. And then I took Cash out. You might be able to hear him panting out there because he was just playing with his friend in the dog park. I'm about to start packing and cleaning and organizing. But before then, I wanted to share a couple of things that we got for the new house. I am so excited for these additions. They are both from Dyson. I have only used a Dyson since Aiden and I first got married. So it's been over two years. This is their new Gen 5 outsize. And you guys, when I say I have never been so excited for a vacuum before this is absolutely incredible it is their most powerful cordless vacuum and there are just so many great features about this i can't wait to have this in the house for one it just holds so much more than my other vacuum that i have but it is so powerful i'm gonna share a little demonstration on our mattress because i actually figured this out yesterday i was vacuuming our mattress before we went ahead and put our sheets on and this is disgusting but i do self tan and i feel like the self tanner sometimes gets on our mattress through the sheets and you can see streaks of where I was vacuuming. It was absolutely disgusting in the coolest way possible. And I think that just goes to show that this is the most powerful vacuum I have ever used in my life. A few of the features that I love, for one, a lot of the other Dyson vacuums, you have to hold down a button while you're vacuuming, but this one just has a power button and then it just runs continuously, which is really, really easy. It'll also show you everything that it's picking up on the LCD screen. This one also has a HEPA filter on it, which helps trap viruses that it picks up from around your house or whatever you're vacuuming. And this kind of filtration is something that we're trying to be more mindful of, especially thinking about the baby coming here soon. Soon. We also added their air purifier to our collection. I'll talk about that in a second. And another really cool thing, you can actually just push this button. It releases into the crevice tool. And I actually use this on so many different areas of our house. I really, really love to use it on our bed frame because our bed frame is kind of a linen material and it is just so easy to pull it out and use like this. You can also use any of their attachments. We have a bunch of their attachments. The one that I use on the mattress is the hair screw tool that gets so much just dust and debris. It's honestly really gross. So many people ask how we deal with the shedding from having a golden retriever and it is honestly just vacuuming all the time. But more specifically, this is why I think it's so crucial to invest in a really high quality vacuum. There is no way that we could actually vacuum every single day if it wasn't just so easy to use with Dyson's vacuums. I love their cordless vacuums. They are absolutely incredible. This one also has their longest run time. It runs for 140 minutes. And we also added the purifier cool formaldehyde to our collection. I'm really, really excited, especially to put this in the new house, just because we are in an older home. I'm not sure what paint has been used, the cleaning supplies, and those are all things that really can emit formaldehyde within your home, which is really scary. But this purifier combines a precise solid state formaldehyde sensor with a unique catalytic filter that continuously destroys formaldehyde. And to prevent these pollutants from leaking back into the air, it's not just the filter that is sealed to HEPA H13 standard, it's also the whole purifier too. And you can control everything from an app too. I have it on my phone. You can see exactly what the purifier is detecting. You can see your air quality. And especially just in the summer in Texas, having the cool feature is so nice just to get some cool air. It's crazy. I should have been more mindful about this before, but 
but it's crazy when you actually are thinking about a child you start thinking about all these other things too and so i'm really thankful to have this in our new home you can shop both these products down below i'll have a link at the top of the description box if you guys want to check them out but definitely wanted to share that because those are things that i'm excited to bring into the new house before i start packing boxes i'm gonna go ahead and make stuff for dinner tonight so i'm actually doing a crock pot recipe i'll link the one that i'm doing like i mentioned it's pulled chicken sandwiches basically like pulled pork sandwiches but i'm not a huge fan of pork and so i've never actually done like pulled chicken before but it sounds really good and anything i can just throw in the crock pot and be ready by tonight is ideal for me so we're gonna go ahead and put this together again i've never made this before i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but it sounded like something that would be good this weekend so i'll let you guys know chickens in the crock pot <laughs> Can you see Cash right there? I'm just looking, he's just looking at me. Hey, what are you doing? Chicken's in the crock pot, and now I'm actually gonna get started on doing some packing. Aiden is grabbing us some more boxes right now, but I just need to pack up this stuff right here, but I also kinda wanna go through it. It's like Cash's stuff and some random stuff up there. Mostly everything else that we moved to storage, so that closet isn't too bad. And then this is the next one that I need to do. It's a little chaotic up here and we'll still need the tools because we'll have to take out some screws and stuff but i think i can get started on that tennis rackets that stuff and then this right here has been kind of my little baby section i've just been keeping a lot of stuff i just made a snuggle me order because they were doing a memorial day sale they were doing a memorial day sale and so i picked up one of their loungers it was on a really really good sale so i picked up that i'll link it if it's still going on and then I also got a lounge cover and I got one of their breastfeeding pillows. And another thing I wanted to share that I'm so looking forward to, we're having someone the Monday after we move come and actually clean our couch, which I've wanted to do for so long because this couch, I really, really like it. It's from Where's Furniture, but it is obviously just so worn in with cash being on it. And yeah, it is just so dirty you can really tell it's kind of disgusting and i vacuum it and everything but it is just so worn in so i'm excited to see what it looks like after they do a little bit of deep cleaning it'll just be nice and fresh for us too for when we move done most of the closet behind me sorry i'm washing a lot of blankets right now aiden just went to grab more boxes this is our third trip to get boxes each time we usually get like 10 to 15 and it is just crazy how many boxes you go through i feel like there's such a more efficient way to do this but i feel like packing is just so inefficient last time we packed all by ourselves but we were moving within the building so i just carried a lot of stuff down the elevator but this time you really have to just pack every single thing and last time i had movers in new york i remember i added on like the packing feature where they pack everything to and oh my goodness was that nice i always think that it's worth it doing that because you just realize how much stuff you have i will say it's great because i've gotten rid of so much stuff that i'm like we just don't need to bring this and it always makes me want to become a minimalist again not that i ever was a full minimalist but i just was so particular about things that i had because i just don't understand like we'll have five coolers i'm like why do we have five coolers and in the new house i don't think it has a ton a ton of storage it has a few closets but they're not giant closets and so uh, yeah it'll be interesting to see how we store everything but definitely just feeling a little bit overwhelmed packing is just always overwhelming i hate getting the boxes though because i just can't carry them and so aiden's gonna grab them for us and he's been doing the other parts of the house while i do these parts and so it feels good though i'm gonna feel really great starting the week knowing that we've done so much and i really only have the kitchen and then stuff that we are just like using that i'll have to bring that'll be easier moving is never fun never fun it's fun once you get into the new place but leading up not fun
closet progress. Basically everything is out of here that I can pack up right now. I also have my wedding dress back here. Also, that's disgusting. You can literally see. Oh no, those are just scrapes. I thought that was dust. My wedding dress that I never got washed after we got married. You can see my self tanner on the back. I want to get this preserved or something. I don't know if it's too late because it was obviously a couple years ago, but always makes me happy when I see it. I kind of just gave myself a couple of outfits over here. My outfits for the next week are gonna be really random. The dress that I wore today, another button down, khaki set, and a sweatshirt. Poor Cash loves sleeping in the bathroom because he loves the tile, but he only has this little space to sleep in. And so I feel so bad for him. I do think I'm gonna try to work out tonight. Even though this is kind of a workout, I'm not doing any of the heavy stuff and so it's mainly just getting rid of things, decluttering that I'm doing. And then any of the heavier stuff Aiden handles, I am really craving a workout. I haven't worked out in a while. And this is something that I wanted to talk about because ever since being pregnant, I really have had the goal of wanting to keep up with working out and just staying pretty active throughout my pregnancy. My first trimester was pretty rough. I was very tired and very sick, so didn't put a lot of pressure on myself. It's crazy because I've talked about this before, but there was a period of my life where I was so strict about just working out. And if I missed a workout, I would feel like super guilty. And I only really considered it a workout if I was just dying sweating so tired and i think i tricked myself into thinking that i just enjoyed that but ever since slowing down especially the last few months of pregnancy i can say that it's been really sweet just learning how to actually rest for my body and of course with pregnancy it is different going through just body changes and gaining weight it is kind of hard to wrap your mind around the concept of everything when it's happening and just learning to love your body regardless of it but it's really sweet because for me i feel like i have just learned to fully embrace my body in this season and just be gentle on it work out for the sake of wanting to have just like a healthy pregnancy and really being able to stay active and i imagine going into postpartum too that's like a whole nother ball game that i'm excited to share about i got a really sweet message the other day Actually, I'm gonna read it to you. I'm gonna read the message. She said, I wanted to let you know how healing it has been watching your videos. As someone in eating disorder recovery, I'm so excited to be a mom someday, but always worried about the changes in my body, appetite, eating habits. Watching you listen to your body and accept the changes while still doing your best to maintain healthy habits is amazing. And I just thought that was really sweet because I have not always been in the place where these things were easy for me. Especially the year before getting pregnant, I was really just a lot more gentle on my body and was open to gaining weight. I feel like I've come to terms with all of that. It doesn't mean that I don't still struggle with this. I've never had like a diagnosed eating disorder or anything, so I'm not saying this is the same level as that, but I just know that it's tricky. It's a weird thing to navigate. I think I've especially learned to have just more grace with myself given the fact that my body is creating life right now. We are making a child that takes so much work and I just want to support my body in the best way possible. And today that's kind of listening to my body and I am feeling like working out. I'm going to try to do that after too. I really want to go to the dermatologist for my skin. I've gone back and forth because I've kind of tried everything under the sun for skin. I was literally on Accutane when I was in high school. So I've done everything. My skin just constantly breaks out. I thought getting into my second trimester that my skin was clearing up, but I keep getting specifically on this cheek this patch of pimples it's so weird it's just these little bumps and they're so odd that they're right on the apple of my cheek i've tried switching my blush i've tried washing my brushes i also sleep with an eye mask and i just recently was like maybe that's what it is started washing that more frequently nothing's really working this cheek also breaks out a little bit the jaw ones are new from pregnancy but the cheek ones i've always had so let me know if you <laughs> can diagnose me no but i do want to see a dermatologist i'm just not sure what you can even take when you're pregnant because you can't use a lot of just kind of harsher skincare products i've really just been washing my face and using lotion but these little guys are just getting on my last nerves they're so odd let me know i just feel like that's such a random area to get acne up doing a couple miles of running and then i found like a pregnancy safe ab workout because i feel like i have been wanting to work out my abs but i just don't know what you can and can't do and so that video was very helpful now i just finished up making dinner 
we're doing those sandwiches that I mentioned and then I just made a Caesar salad from a salad kit pretty simple we just had it and then I also just air fried some potatoes just cut them up into little bite-sized pieces and then I just do olive oil salt pepper and a little bit of garlic powder super good I use my air fryer all the time too I find it makes things just really nice and crispy And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, don't forget you can shop Dyson's products down below. I'll see you guys next time.